the world is moving fast and so the procedure of various diseases their surgical treatment and the patients discharge as far as possible from the hospital for many advantages so an ambulatory or day care surgery is a clinical admission for a surgical procedure with discharge of the patient on the same working day a day care clinic is defined as an institution in which patients undergo elective operations on the day of their admission and are discharged within 24 hours of the surgery day surgery encompasses those surgical interventions that are more complex than office based procedure performed under local anesthesia but less complex than major procedures requiring at least overnight stay the potential benefits of ambulatory surgery includes rapid return to comforts of home environment diminished opportunity for infection majority of surgeons still prefers to carry out surgeries even minor ones at the multi speciality hospital a significant number of procedure that do not require special equipment pre operative preparation and stay are still done in the hospital leading to long waiting list shortage of beds high cost of the bed and burden on the resources of the hospital now almost 30 to 50% of any type of surgeries can be safely performed in the outpatient sectors this rate reaches to almost 90% in case of anorectal operations now which patients can be taken for this on those having a minimal risk of post operative airway compromise post operative pain controllable by medication minimal risk of post operative hemorrhage no need for specialized nursing and rapid return to normal fluid and food so selecting an ideal patient patients having a good control on systemic diseases patient corresponding to asa 1 and 2 levels those who were on anticoagulant therapy have discontinued the same a week prior to the procedure patient accompanied by a responsible person to take him home and stay with him for the next 24 hours various procedures which can be done as a day care include hemorrhoid surgery anal fissure surgery anal fistula surgery anal and perianal abscess drainage pilonidal sinus rectal prolapse surgery laparoscopic colorectal surgeries star procedures removal of colorectal adenomas and endoscopic removal of polyps and biopsies the prerequisite for such patient so the patients having easy access to toilet and telephone availability of quick transport in case of emergencies access to medical facilities round the clock in case of complications or emergencies and patient literate enough to understand post operative instruction and follow them so for such patient some pre operative measures all should and investigated and routine hemogram including hemoglobin blood glucose estimation hiv and australia antigen evaluated by a physician receive polyethylene glycol or laxative a night prior no enema is given a word of caution that all patient must be examined before the actual procedure on the day of the surgery as sometimes a change in symptoms and signs may call for a modification in the choice of procedure so sometimes they may give surprises so it's better to examine now how to organize the procedure patients are admitted in the hospital an hour prior to the procedure they are taken to the operating room where venous line is placed and the anesthetist monitor the patient most of the patients are operated in a lithotomy or jack knife position the operative field is not shaved except in case of pilonidal disease now coming to the anesthesia while most of the studies have shown that all the anorectal procedures could be performed under local or local region anesthesia general anesthesia should not be avoided and one should be ready for all the methods of anesthesia and should be tailored according to individual patient while local anesthesia does have definitive advantage of avoiding po possible post anesthesia complication it can lead to jo local anesthesia can lead to patients anxiety about uncomfortable procedure uh, position uh, sometimes need for an additional procedure requiring extension of duration of operation regarding the operative notes after disinfection of the operative field the procedure is carried out no intranasal dressing is necessary excepting coverage of the wound with a pad patients are kept under observation for 6 hours for 
seeing vomiting urinary retention pain or post anesthesia event and wound should be reviewed before discharge in the post operative period the patient should be provided with a leaflet exhaustively detailing in essential post operative care along with sits bath dressing application of ointment analgesics and laxative prescription they should be provided with a telephone number to call at any time when to discharge the patient when his vital signs are stable for at least 2 hours there is adequate pain control minimal nausea vomiting or dizziness correct oriented orientation as to time adequate hydrated and patients having risk of urine retention after having passed urine so these things should be kept in mind before a post operative period a warm water sitz bath is necessary they are all as to apply a cream containing local anesthetic and antiseptics systemic antibiotics in case of infective pathologies emphasis should be placed on returning to the normal activity and normal food post operative pain control the control of post defecation pain is the most important issue the patient should uh, consume analgesics in with impunity post operative pain control can be achieved by infiltration with long lasting anesthesia pre operative analgesia and opioid post operative pain cannot be determined pre operatively as it is subjective and varies from patient to patient in our experience adequate doses of analgesic did help in the patient and these include paracetamol diclofenac sodium and <laughs> the usual anxiety in prescribing higher doses of analgesics lies in their adverse side effects However such complication resulting from analgesic medication are tolerated well by the patient in preference to undergoing the tortuous pain in the post operative course so analgesic should be used in impunity the most common complications of proctology surgery includes post operative hemorrhage retention of urine infection and severe pain the reason for post operative urinary retentions are multiple they may be because of iv fluids administered dysfunction of the detrusor reflex urethral spasm prostatic hypertrophy and fear of pain we have laid a special emphasis on the patient undergoing warm water sitz bath in the post operative course that it is our experience that apart from giving relief from pain it improves the local blood circulation augmenting the effect of medication it also help in cleaning the wound water first sitz bath should not be too hot and no additives should be added once again before discharging we remind the patient to follow strict post operative care local hygienic measures dressing consumption of analgesia physical exercise good food habit and adequate measures to avoid constipation which is one of the main culprit so the ideal day care surgery the downside of proctology surgery are its pain quotient and lengthy time of work if the operation could be performed with minimal post operative discomfort and high patient satisfaction then the patients are bound to opt for a day care operation as against repeated office procedure or a conservative therapy so summing up day care surgery a day care surgery offers many advantage because life is only minimally disturbed the incidence of nosocomial infection is minimal there is earlier return to normal activity with reduced time of work is more comfortable at home reduction in treatment cost and morbidity rates are almost identical to the indoor patients it cannot be overemphasized that careful patient selection meticulous surgery with minimal tissue damage optimal wound care appropriate post operative analgesia and raising patient's confidence are the key to any successful proctological outpatient surgery so it can be concluded that the future of outpatient surgery is promising and the time is ripe for elaborating a study on it so that the healthcare system becomes more effective and efficient providing broader and better quality assistance both available at a lower cost and to the entire population so day care surgery can become only popular if the patient are comfortable at home with which are who are free from pain does not encounter severe complications and can uh, remain mobilized and at work